All right, I was having issues uploading the longer video, so I put this in part two. Um, so this is lesson three of the Relay Basics. Um, so, okay, so relays are divided into three types, normally open, NO, contact relay. This type of relay closes the circuit when energized. This is a normally closed contact relay. This type of relay breaks the circuit when energized and changeover relay. This type of relay closes one circuit when energized and another one de-energized. A relay sometimes has a resistor of, or a diode. The resistor or diode is connected in parallel across the coil and used to dampen the induced voltage spike after the coil circuit is switched off. So it says connect the relay so the lamp comes on when the, the switch is closed. So all we're gonna be doing is some wiring here. Remember our two negatives, it's on the negative side, this switch, there was a negative side switch. Our positives. Up to 86 and 30. You remember there's the coil in here, that's switch. So this goes over to here for the main current to flow through. So if we operate that, close it, the light turns on. So now this is asking, energize the relay, what type of relay is it? So it has to make contact for the light to turn on. So that last one was a normally, <coughs> sorry, open contact relay. Now we're gonna do a normally closed. Same thing, we have to wire up our two negatives. <coughs> Switch wire to 85 post, our two positives to 86 and 30 post. There's still that coil switch in here. This is number 87A. Remember before it was just 87? Let's watch what op happens. We open it and the light turns on. All right, so this is a non-contact relay. This type of relay breaks the circuit when energized. Break contact e uh, relay, so that's post 87A. Okay, so now we're gonna do the changeover relay. Um, it just turns on a light bulb each point, at each point, 87N, 87A. So again, our two negatives, but now we have to do three because we have two bulbs and one to the switch. Switch to 85 post are two positives at so 86 and to 30, 87A, 87, so 87's off, but if I hit the switch to contact, 87's on, off, on, and for 87A, it's off, and now it's on when it's open. So this is a changeover relay. What is the purpose of the resistor or diode? Okay, again, the resistor or diode is connected in parallel across the coil and used to dampen the induced voltage spike after the coil circuit is switched off. So as this goes back and forth, there's a risk of a voltage spike, which would then fry your relay um, and you wouldn't have no power. Uh, so they have a resistor to resist the excessive energy, power, or a diode, which does the same thing, controls that spike. So to reduce voltage spikes in the coil, and then we finish this. 
Now make sure you watch part one and part two uh, so you get the whole lesson.